Hi, in this video, I'm going to teach you the motherboard, the laptop motherboard circuits, of course, using the schematic. Okay, so you gotta understand the schematic and the motherboard. For example, here we have IC, here we have IC. So we have two MOSFETs here, we have two MOSFETs here. Okay, we have two other MOSFETs here, we have other MOSFETs here. Okay, so we're gonna discuss the motherboard circuit, the motherboard component, how to diagnose a field marked motherboard, etc. So let's get started. Every circuit in the motherboard has about the same component. You will find always an IC, a control IC, you will find to MOSFET in order to generate for example this power here you should you should have IC to a MOSFET and of course an inductor that will adjust the current and of course here capacitors that filter the current and of course here we have the tooth the test point or the pad okay the same for this channel for example as you can see we have IC we have two MOSFETs inductor electrolytic capacitor so we gonna see all this in the motherboard okay so for example let's go to one of the most important circuit in the motherboard for example let's for example go to the cpu circuit here we have the cpu ic okay this is the cpu ic okay and here we have two channels for this cpu in order to generate plus vcc core Okay, so we have the IC, we have MOSFETs, we have inductor, and as you can see, we have here capacitors. Okay, here also MOSFETs, inductor, capacitors. So let's see these components here in the motherboard. Okay, so for example, here we have a motherboard, as you can see. Let's first know about this motherboard. So here we have the CPU, as you can see, and we have the CPU circuit. Basically the CPU, here we have the North Bridge, the graphic card and the CPU integrated in one chip, just in one chip, okay? So here we have the CPU, as you can see, okay? We have the RAM circuit, here we have the RAM slot, okay? Here, as you can see, we have the ICH. Okay, and over here, as you can see, we have two inductors and two capacitors. We have IC here. So this is the three volt, five volt circuit. Here we have three volt, five volt circuit. And here, next to the battery connector, we have the charge circuit. Okay, so this is the charge circuit. So if you focus here, as you can see, so this is the charge IC over here and here we have the two switches as you can see that is connected directly to the power jack basically here we have the power jack here we have the power connector okay this connector is connected to the power jack via a cable okay so this is the charge circuit here we have the super IO or the keyboard control. Here we have the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. Okay, do you see here? We have two inductors, two capacitors, and we have the IC. So every inductor is for one channel. Okay, if we go here, for example, the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. So here, as you can see, this is the 3 volt 5 volt circuit where we have the IC this is the IC so let's see the motherboard so here we have the motherboard so here we have the IC the 3 volt 5 volt circuit IC and over here we have the IC do you see the IC this is the IC then we have two MOSFETs here so this is the 5 volt channel and here we have 3 volt channel okay so let's First, discuss the 5 volt always channel. So we have the IC, we have two MOSFETs. We have here the IC. Let's look for the two MOSFETs. So let's see the back side of the motherboard. Here we have two MOSFETs. So this two MOSFETs is for 5 volt and these two other MOSFETs for 3 volt. Okay? So IC, MOSFETs, IC, MOSFETs here. Okay, then we have inductor. Okay, do you see inductor? 
in order to adjust and increase the current. So here, as you can see, we have induct. This is induct. So this induct is 5 volt, and this one is 40.3 is volt. Okay, we have induct. Then we have, as you can see, electrolytic capacitor here. We have here electrolytic capacitor. Okay. Then here we have the pad, the test point, as you can see. So here, as you can see, we have the pad, the test point over here. Okay. Then we will get 5 volt here. We can check whether we get 5 volt or not in this test point. So the same thing for 3 volt charm. I see two MOSFETs. So I see over here we have two MOSFETs. Okay, two MOSFETs. Then we have inductor. Here we have inductor. Then we have electrolytic capacitor that has the purpose to filter the current. Here we have electrolytic capacitor. Then the pad or the disk point. Here we have the pad, as you can see over here, where we can check 3.31. So, of course, you can't tell me here we have the input voltage. Always the input voltage, as you can see here or here, you will find ceramic capacitors. So, near to the MOSFETs. So, if we go near to the MOSFETs, as you can see. We have capacitor over okay. here. So the input voltage is applied for this capacitor near to these two MOSFETs. As you can see, we have here two capacitors. Basically, we have here two capacitors. Okay, and for these two MOSFETs, we have two capacitors. Okay. So let's see another circuit. For example, let's see the CPU circuit. So for the CPU circuit, as I told you before, it has basically two channels. Here we have the first channel, here we have the second channel, okay? So, for the CPU, of course, in order to generate plus VCC core over here, okay? So, the CPU needs to get this ID, as you can see, we have ID. So, based on this ID, the CPU knows the exact voltage necessary for the CPU. So based on this ID, this IC will generate the VCC core for the CPU. So let's see and study the CPU circuit in the schematic and then go to the motherboard. Okay. So if you focus here, what we have here? We have the IC as you can see. Okay. So we have the first char and the second char. As I told you before, for the CPU, it has more than two channels it could have two three four five <coughs> or more depending in the type of the cpu okay so here we have the first channel this channel has to purpose to generate plus vcc core as you can see this channel also has to purpose to generate plus vcc core that's why these two channels are connected together Okay, because they have the same role, the same purpose. Okay, so what we have here, we have basically three MOSFETs. Okay, we have three MOSFETs for this channel. We have a protection diode. We have inductor here in order to increase the current. Always the reference for the inductor is L, and we will get VCC core. And of course, here we have the main voltage, the 19 volt that will pass through the ceramic capacitors in order to be filtered and then goes to this first MOSFET. Here also we have the same working principle. We have the same voltage as you can see here that will pass through these capacitors and then goes to this first MOSFET. And of course here we have the same the inductor. Okay? So do you see this line here? This is a bolded line. You see this bolded line here? This bolded name means or trace means a high voltage. This means a high voltage, means 19 volt. But these lines, as you can see here, means signals, data. For example, for this MOSFET, here we have 19 volt, a high voltage. But for the gate, as you can see, the signal that goes to the gate, as you can see, it's not bolted. This is just a signal about 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt. But here we have high voltage, okay? So let's go to the motherboard and 
study the circuit. So here we have the CPU. Okay. So of course this chip integrate the node bridge and the CPU. So here we have two inductors. Do you see two inductors? Means what? Means we have two channels for the CPU. As you can see, the first inductor, the second inductor. Okay. So here we have two inductors. Means the CPU has two channels. So we should look for the IC, the MOSFETs. So let's go back to the back of the CPU. So as you can see here. So we have the IC. This is the CPU control IC as you can see. Okay. And here we have MOSFETs. Do you see MOSFETs here? Okay. And here we have MOSFETs. Okay. And here of course we have a capacitor. A polarized capacitor. We call this kind of capacitor tantalum capacitors. Okay, so IC, MOSFETs, and inductors. So IC, MOSFETs, inductors. Okay, so this is the working principle of the circuits in every motherboard. Okay, always in every circuit, you will find IC, inductors, MOSFETs, and capacitors as you can see here also inductor capacitor inductors MOSFETs here as you can see this is the input voltage where we have seven capacitors okay input voltage so for every circuit in the motherboard you will find this component now for example let's suppose that for example we have a failed motherboard when you get a failed motherboard you should first begin here with the input you should check here in the power jack check these two switches or MOSFETs and check whether you have 19 volt here or not and over here of course you, uh, we have here inductors diodes etc you should always begin with the charge circuit and check the protection component check these MOSFETs it could be failed then, for example, if you have the voltages, all voltages are good, then you should move to 3 volt, 5 volt circuit, and then you should check whether you get here 3 volt and 5 volt circuit. Okay, then you can proceed and check the CPU circuit, etc. So that's enough for this video. I hope that you understand a little bit how the circuit work in the motherboard. So thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video because your likes motivate me to create more videos and see you in the next video